Hey guys, Landon Cole here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at this 2020 835 AMG. Let's get into it. All right guys, so specs on this bad boy, 302 horsepower, 295 foot-pounds of torque through a two liter turbo twin scroll uh, turbo. And yeah, it likes to move zero to 60 in manufacturer time at about 4.6 seconds. Um, independent tests have concluded it's about 4.3 to 4.4 seconds. So let's take a look at the exterior. All right guys, so now we're gonna take a look at the exterior, um, just a little bit of a walk around. So in the front, we have this, it's finished in this black metallic paint coat, uh, color and has a nice big three stars or tri-point star on the grill. Um, up front to the AMG model, um, you'll have this extra front lip um, and some additional arrow this happens to be a uh, functional arrow we have these nice 19 inch uh, AMG wheels with um, silver caliper and then this comes stock from the factory wrapped in these Pirelli P0 tires and then so moving along you'll see a turbo formatic badge along with lots of AMG especially on the uh, caliper and on the wheels themselves so to the A35 you'll see these uh, side skirts that are longer than the A20, A220, and then on the back you'll also see some vents. These however are not functional. Alright guys, so moving around the back here, um, you see, we see AMG badge on the left and then the A35. The sick um, diffuser on the back with two um, black exhaust tips. Coming around the side, again, really nice wheels. Um, you have a small duckbill spoiler, shout out the ducks. Um, and around the front you have turn signal indicators on the mirrors and these HID bulbs on the front. Alright guys, so now it's time to move on to the interior. So to access the beautiful interior of the A35, you have this keyless, so that's a lock. Then pull it to open up. On the door, on the door card, you will see that there are ordinary window switches, um, comfort controls, trunk um, release, and then the Burmester audio system. And then also, there's this beautiful AMG um, skid plate, for, I guess, for your foot, with, along with the AMG floor mats. So, as we make our way inside, we are met by the AMG steering wheel. And to turn this on, you're gonna hold the right paddle and push in for a sport exhaust because it'll rev a lot higher. Um, so now we're inside the A35. We have black and white seats. Um, we like to call it panda themed. Um, love it. And so on the and you're met with two screens here. So this is your digital speedometer and tachometer. So this is configurable in any way. There is a heads up display working um, in the vehicle. We also have on the right side, you have access to your navigation, so which is touch screen. And then you also have this uh, touch pad right here with this as a palm rest. So while you're driving, um, so you got radio, navigation, media, comfort, found in comfort, you can change the seat kinetics so it relaxes the seat with movement and ambient lighting. So you can't really tell right now but all these are, these LEDs are lit up um, and at night it looks gorgeous. You'll probably be inserting a picture of that um, in here. And so going back, it's touch. And another cool thing is you can control it with this little thumb right here while you're driving so you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. Um, we have the AMG track pace. It says warning, use this on racetracks only. So we're going to click through that and then there are no tracks in your vicinity but then you can also do a drag race and then it has the telemetry of your track times. Um, and then you just have your options as there's an app that you can connect to view your times. Alright, moving on to the AMG performance section. 
you have your individual configurations for the dynamic select. Um, so you can just see the individual because you have multiple modes. Sorry. You have individual modes that you can use. Then you have the vehicle, so you can see um, this one is like steering degree, I believe. And then this is what percentage is going to what. And then you also have what G's you're pulling. Um, then you have the engine, which shows you horsepower, torque, um, and then your oil and trans temps. And then it also shows you your consumption. So in the past 30 minutes, average 24.2 miles per gallon, which is pretty good coming from such a fast car. All right, so then you have the Mercedes me and apps and then your settings and that kind of wraps it up over there. But here's where the fun starts. So you, you to navigate this menu, you can use this left up and down, um, swipe to change the different configurations. I personally like having the tachometer here with uh, horsepower and torque numbers. Then it also has like a little boost gauge. It doesn't tell you how much, many pounds it's pulling or pushing and then also over here this would be if I, my phone were connected um, that's where you would see what song is playing so I don't have to look over there and know it's some terrible artist playing I can just go ahead and see what it is and skip the song all right so moving back down here you have this this button takes you to the uh, quick information about the car this is a programmable button right here. Uh, this is where the fun really starts. So you have the dynamic mode. So what you do is you push it down once from comfort and you're met with sport mode. Down again, sport plus, and the engine idles a little bit higher, opens up the exhaust. Then going back up, you have an individual mode. So for me, that's I don't ever use that. And this is slippery, so for when it gets icy, wet, whatever, it reduces the engine. So then moving along here, we have this black glossy. It's really dusty, I just cleaned it. Um, these are the exhaust, I mean not exhaust, but the vents. And they have little lights that come up here that match the dash. And why not I just say this is a beautiful dash. I love the black with the gray stripes and that which fe feeds into the sides of the door and then over here we have another vent um, and then I just like to keep this in auto and then you can also change like how bright it is um, moving back here there's a wireless um, charger and then you can actually pull out this I don't know if you can see that you pull that out and it holds down your phone um, while charging and then we move to here, pull that, push that for the cup, the left cup holder, put that for the right cup holder. Um, USB-C port right there for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, another shot of the seat. Then here you have the manual. So you press this, it locks the gearbox and manual. Um, let's put that out of that. And then over here, no buttons but and this is to turn traction control off you want to keep that on because um, this is actually a front-wheel drive bias vehicle so there's no there's no spin classes um, moving on to right next to the driver um, you have your little couple, um, little storage space I keep there's some stuff in there like my wallet and then my USB C cord um, yeah, the passenger also has the same memory functions and you can adjust the headrest on the seats and I'm just in love with the black and white interior of this vehicle. Can you see me? All right guys, so this is the back seat. I'm about 6'3", 200 something pounds. Um, this is in the position where I would be driving. So it's gonna show the leg room. So it's a little tight back seat, um, but you can definitely fit, I mean, the knees are a little cramped, but who's complaining when you're in an AMG, you know? So back here, um, you're met again with the Burmaster audio system, which sounds amazing. I have two speakers here, um, two vents on the interior that also light up with the ambient lighting. 
Um, and then on the same thing over here, we have a lock and unlock button, which is very interesting. Never seen that really in the back seat of a vehicle, but it's not, it's not very cramped um, because you have this amazing glass sunroof that slides all the way back. It's not above your head like in the seat. The C-Class has um, a second sunroof here, but that is, it's all fine. You're not missing out on much. All right, guys, so we're gonna be moving on to the trunk right here. So, just a uh, small button right there. It's a very large space in here. Um, I can fit two full-size golf bags, and I keep my rain jacket there. Um, underneath here, you actually have a uh, front license plate, and then you have a tire uh, pump. So if you ever, if your tires are running a little bit low, you don't even have to go anywhere and get it filled up. You have one in your trunk, and it extends all the way out. So, which I think is pretty gnarly. All right, now, this is what we're really here for, the driving portion. So I will say that this vehicle th th feels like it has way more than 302 horsepower. After driving the C43 AMG, um, compared to this, that one definitely had 80 more horsepower. But it was not, when you're accelerating zero to 60, it doesn't feel much different because this is just tuned so well with the dual clutch um, transmission, seven speed, and Sport Plus is just incredibly fun. All right, let's get into the driving. A little schmedium pool onto the interstate, not gonna do anything too crazy. All right guys, so we are now in the Sport Plus mode. We're on a little bit of a windy road. Um, just gonna test out the steer, feel the steering. It's buttery smooth. You can go into these with such good speed. I mean, you're, and you feel like you're just planted. Um, brown right here. Um, let's get a little bit of a, a little bit of a pull. And you go a little bit into fourth gear. And you hear a little bit of pops. I mean, this this car just lo loves to eat this up. It's just a beautiful driving car. I can't say too much about it. I mean, we're on these little back roads. And you can just hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but I, I can, the pops are just. And it's just, the transmission's so smooth. The engine itself is smooth. There's not much turbo lag. And it just pops like crazy. You can just hear it spool up. It's. It's literally just insane that this car is as fast as it is. All right, all right, so this is going to be the launch control. So you hold on, your foot on the brake. And it absolutely just throws you back in your seat. All right guys, so we're just out here after doing a little bit of uh, testing with the Sport Plus mode. Just getting a feel for the car itself. It's absolutely magnificent. There's no other way to put it. I mean, it doesn't feel like it. it's the bottom uh, AMG model. I mean, after riding in other sports cars, like this just blows everything away. Um, there's just, I'm just kind of at a loss for words. So right now we're driving in um, comfort mode. This, cruising along back roads. I mean, it handles perfectly even without being in like a sporty suspension mode as it does have that. Um, I mean, it's just, it just cruises. It just wants to, it feels like you're going faster than you are, but it also just wants to keep pulling. And that's, that's where this car can get a little bit dangerous in terms of speed. Um, I don't know what the top speed is. I've never hit it. I'm not going to try it, especially after today. Um, but I could just see why this car um, is so great. And what I'd love is if Mercedes were to bring the A45 or the A35 wagon here, because there's not many of these A35s built. I haven't seen too many. I mean, the, only, the closest other one of the A35 was in like Kentucky and we're in North Carolina. Um, Kentucky, New Jersey. There was one like out in Nashville and then one in New York, but and there's one happened to be 30 minutes away from me. 
but it's just it's just a perfect car um, now comparing it to the C43 which it would be the next step up in the AMG lineup um, this this is fast enough to get you in trouble uh, but it's just beautiful I mean look at the roads out here it's just handling them with ease I'm in comfort mode just cruising I mean one hand on the steering wheel and it's it just it just goes wherever you point it um, these roads are very 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 bumpy um, in comparison to like a freshly paved road and there's not too much noise these Pirellis are a little loud I've read about other people complaining about that but it's just um, it's, it's a great vehicle all together So we're just out here, um, just cruising. It's, like I said, it's just magnificent. No other word for it. I mean, just in comfort mode, you still hear the, get the turbo noises. You don't get any burbles, unfortunately, because of the active exhaust. Um, that actual beep is letting me know that I have hit five miles an hour over the speed limit, so I'm gonna drop back down. Would I buy this vehicle? Well, I would. <laughs> It's absolutely fantastic in it. I know like you can get a scat pack for about the same amount of money, has more horsepower or 5.0 Mustang, but to me, this just this is so much more refined than an American vehicle. And I don't don't get me wrong, I love I love driving American muscle cars and riding in them because they're so comfy. Like people hate on the Challenger because it's a boat. Take a left. Yeah. Alright. They hate on the Challenger because they're like, oh it's a boat. Um, so we're gonna sh shift down into Sport Plus to get on the interstate right here. Um, but it's just, I mean, you can see it just handles so well and you can put the power down in the, in the corners without feeling like you're about to lose traction on the back end, which is another reason I like it better than the C43 because the C43, uh, getting on, turning a little bit, you might lose the back end. Um, put it back in comfort so I don't get in trouble um, let's go to 73 but yeah this vehicle it can cruise it can go fast when you need to it has a launch control um, as I'll insert a clip here there about of it doing launch control um, the interior is amazing that's one of the reasons this was so much better more appealing than the BMW like a even we were looking to get like a 435i, 440i, which has more horsepower, about the same speed. But the interior is just so, I mean, just look at the passenger dash. I mean, you get the AMG, AMG right there, all the lights. Uh, you can't really see them as it's the daytime. You get this beautiful um, sunroof um, that just goes all the way back. It also has, if, if you pull forward, one touch. Um, it has a little uh, bikini shade type thing. It's not fully dark, but keeps it open. I like keeping it open. Um, I just can't reiterate enough how refined this car is, and that's and that's why you buy spend more money to get less horsepower. But horsepower for German cars is not the same as American. Um, I know it is, but it just doesn't feel the same. I mean, seven-speed dual-clutch uh, transmission. Every every single upshift in Sport Plus mode, you're where you're hammering on it, it's just like yeah, and it just pops, and it's beautiful. So that'll conclude um, the review of the A35 AMG Mercedes. Please, please bring the wagon over here, the A45. It's a I just I'm blown away. Couldn't imagine what 100 more horsepower would do and more aero. Um, but this has been Landon Cole. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, um, comment down below. Anything that you have questions related to this car, um, all, every, anything is fair game. What cars 
would you want to see um, that I, that are attainable for the 17 year? But thank you guys for watching and peace out.